Hi, this is Manny Valderrama and welcome to my YouTube channel, V Digified. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get more updates. So, ang pag-aaralan po natin ngayon ay tungkol sa, or ang ating tatalakay ngayon ay tungkol sa my RPMS IPCRF or the updated IPCRF form. So, paano nga po ba natin ito mag magagawa ang IPCRF form natin? So, una po natin gagawin is idadownload po natin ang ating form. So, saan po natin siya idadownload? So, punta po tayo sa FB page ng heavy page po ng DepEd BHROD So, itype lang po natin is DepEd BHROD Tapos you click the search button Ito pong parang magnifying glass Click po natin siya and then i-double click po natin si DepEd BHROD Tapos ito po ang lalabas dyan Okay, so Ibig sabihin po ng DepEd BHROD ay Department of Education Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development. Okay, dito po sa Facebook page ng Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development, dito po natin makukuha ang link para ma-download natin ang IPCRF form. Ito po siya. Okay, so sabi po dito, important RPMS update. So yun daw pong BHROD have updated the RPMS tool including the electronic individual performance commitment and review form or IPCRF for school year 2019-2020. Okay, make sure daw po that your EIPCRF or electronic IPCRF file is up to date. Okay, so to download the updated link, click on the link below. Ito, page. Anong po natin to. Click natin yung see more, then dito po yung link. Okay, this is the link po to download the updated file for IPCRF form. So, all you have to do lang po teacher is, is double click natin yung link. Okay, pag double click po natin yung link teacher is, automatic na siyang mag da download Pero, click muna natin itong download. This one, the downward arrow. Ibig sabihin po nito, teacher, is pag dinoble click natin yung downward arrow, it means ita-download natin yung DepEd prescribed IPCRF form. Okay, so double click po natin siya. Once na-download na natin siya, pupunta siya sa my folder nyo po na downloads. Okay, punta tayo kay downloads po. Punta siya kay downloads. Ito. There. Okay, nakita nyo po si ano, IPCRF form. Ito po siya. So, double click po natin siya. Double click natin si IPCRF form. Tapos, lalabas po yung ganito. So, alin po yan? May folder po na dalawang nakalabas dyan. Alin po ito? Double click natin. Double click po natin itong IPCRF form. After po nito, may lalabas po siyang parang patong-patong na libro. Ito po yung i-double click natin. DepEd Prescribed IPCRF Parts 1 to 4 for school year 2019-2020. Double click po natin siya, teachers. Tapos po, may lalabas po siya na Excel file. Ito po. Double click po natin yung Excel file. And then, click natin yung cancel. Mag-open na po yung IPCRF file na, na, na naka Excel format. Okay. Di po ba dati naka, ano siya, naka Word na format? So, this time po naka Excel format na siya. So, ano po ba yung reason bakit ginawa daw po ng DepEd na naka Excel format na siya? Unlike before na naka Word siya. So, malalaman po natin mamaya teachers kung ano po ang reason ng DepEd bakit po ginawa na siyang Excel format instead of Word format. Pagkatapos si po i-double click yung DepEd prescribed IPCRF, ito po yung lalabas sa screen nyo. Okay. 
So kung nakikita nyo po, ito pong screen nyo, nakalagay doon is IPCRF Rating and Coding Form. Ibig sabihin po, nasa may preliminary part tayo ng IPCRF or ng Electronic IPCRF Form. Nasa, nasa may preliminary form tayo. Actually po, teachers, yung IPCRF po ay it composed of five parts. Una pong parts niyan, teachers, is the encoding part. Yung yung po makikita nyo sa baba, oh, teachers. Dito sa baba, the encoding part. And this is the una part niya is the part one. Ito po yun. Pag kinliko po yung, na may, yung nasa baba na bar, lalabas po yung part one. Okay? Nakakasunod po ba tayo, teachers? Okay. So, lalabas po yung part one. So, kung nakikita nyo po, Proficient teachers. This form is for proficient teachers only. So, ano po, sino po ba yung mga proficient teachers? Sila po yung mga teachers 1, teachers 2, teachers 3, and SPED teachers 1 to 4. SPED teachers 1, 2, 3, and 4. At kasama rin po dito sa proficient teachers, yung special science teacher. 1 and Okay, sila po yung mga proficient teachers. Ulitin po natin. Sino-sino po yung mga proficient teachers? Proficient teachers po are the teachers 1, teachers 2, teachers 3. Included din po sa proficient teachers ang SPED teacher 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ito po yun. At kasama rin po sa proficient teachers yung special science teacher 1, and teacher 2. Sila po yung mga proficient teachers. So, marami pong nagtataka. Sir, bakit daw po nasan yung form for master teachers or for the highly proficient teachers? Okay, so ganito po gagawin nyo para po makita nyo yung form for highly proficient teachers. Ang gagawin nyo lang po is to change the position dito po. Pagitan lang po natin yung position. For example, di ba ang mga highly proficient teachers po ay for master teachers. Tama po, master teachers po tayo. So, pagitan natin yung position, automatically, magpapalit po yung form niya. Magiging color blue po siya. Highly proficient teachers. Highly proficient teachers are the master teachers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Kasama rin po dun yung SPED Teacher 5 sa Highly Proficient Teachers. Okay po, nakakasunod po tayo, teachers. So, balik na po tayo sa encoding form. Doon po tayo magsimula sa encoding form. So, palitan po muna natin ang position dito ni Highly Proficient Teachers. Doon po muna tayo kay Teachers 1 to 3, SPED Teachers 1 to 4, at kay Special Science Teacher 1 and 2. Okay, so balik na po tayo dito. Uh, DepEd prescribed IPCRF for school year 2019-2020. So I hope po that you have learned a lot from me. Maraming salamat po and keep on watching my video. Goodbye!